All opposing forces start to resemble each other as conflict continues. Patent your discoveries. Each new species represents an opportunity for uncontestable ownership of that life form. Aurochs used to kill our ancestors until we bred the cow. Wolves hunted us until we bred the dog. Someday the life of this world will come at our call and carry our children upon their backs. There is a historical idiom which states, what you don't know can't hurt you. It does not apply to fungi. The golden rule runs across all good ethics. Let's define our neighbor broadly and spread love through the universe. It frustrates me that people are still surprised when this new planet reacts violently to the presence of an off-world species with its own agenda. Made of chitin, storm and lightning, how's your garden grow? Miasma mist and beetle hiss and siege worms in a row. To achieve comprehension, you must yield to assimilation. None survive without wounds. None go forward uncompromised. We have discovered alien life on our new world. Unsurprisingly, it grows, reproduces, dies, and cannot understand French. Floatstone beat a Nancy and Coyote at poker, and won the right to leave the ground. But Floatstone forgot to ask for wings to fly, and so it just sort of hangs around feeling sorry for itself. When you meet a new neighbor, you greet her with heartfelt courtesy. So also will we get to know our new alien neighbors. If you want a better deal with evolution, cut out the middleman. Cognition in the human brain should not be of elevated status because it is implemented in cells instead of silicon. I never cease to find beauty in the fact that even though we walk among the stars, we still hold them in awe. Strong machines rally weak flesh when the spirit is willing. Advocates of maneuver warfare must not fall into the trap of loving maneuver for its own sake. When provided with adequate data and field of view, anyone can predict the future. We don't need better bullets. We need a better way to deliver them into the bodies of our enemies. Oppression, chaos, and death may come from the barrel of a gun. But so occasionally does victory. Biochemistry on this world is like a good contract. It looks straightforward, but there are some real devils in the details. If it's a sin to play God, then why would he leave his tools lying around? In your veins runs iron made from the heart of a long-dead star. Such does the universe love life. Few have mastered the art of keeping a garden in perfect shape, especially since we have started growing titanium. If you listen at night, you can sometimes hear Casey Jones, the Wabash cannonball, with his iron legs still running a mile a minute. We have forgotten that when nature goes about her work, she sings to herself. Have you heard the song of this world? A four billion year old world's worth of resources shared among a handful of people. We're gonna make a fortune here. You don't win an argument until the other fella thinks your ideas were his the whole time. Stop talking about the weather and do something about it for once. I think I know what you're thinking, and you think you know what I know about your thinking, but you're wrong. Of course, consensus is uninspiring and trite. However, inspiring original ideas are often tragically wrong-headed. One of the finest shadings of communication is the difference between I didn't understand that and I understand that, but I don't care. I love computers because they automate the tedious stuff and give us more time for important things like market manipulation. The fact that human beings were able to get to new worlds with the obtuse computer sciences of the seeding is simultaneously impressive and embarrassing. I exhale into your left ear the secret of life. I inhale through your right ear to remove the thought. As it crosses your mind, it leaves no trace. You walk on, ignorant of your loss. Omnipresent and effective security measures make even the worst neighbors tolerable. If you can't build a better mousetrap, build a better mouse. When Coyote learned he was the only one of his kind on the new planet, his howl echoed through the rifts and off the distant hills. Instruct the children not to dream of toys or sweets. Instruct them to dream of infrastructure. The secret to being happy is to delight in the absurd, repress the irritating, 
and keep good wine close at hand. If I could rewrite the laws of the universe, I'd put a few loopholes in there for myself. A useful heuristic for determining metacognition is to ask, does this organism merely create tools, or does it create tools which create new tools? This is demonstrated by taking any set of arbitrary dimensional fields and describing them axiomatically. The proof is trivial and left to the student. Do you change the steps in the dance of life? Or does the dance of life change your step? If you're going to rejigger an organism's genotype, you should give it the courtesy of reading its manual first. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. We, the dust of a dying world, must listen to the stones of a living one. The five oceans of Earth are the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Titanic, the Arctic, and the Indian. Forgetting the sacrifice made by our brothers and sisters so we could live on this new world is shameful. Live your life in remembrance of the suffering we few left behind. The only reason you are here is because a committee picked who to send. Ponder why they chose you instead of their own self-interest. Good AI prevents bad operators from using computers to conduct useless tasks at high speeds to many degrees of vacuous precision. Resistance, in regards to electrical conductivity, is undesirable. In regards to hyperconductivity, it is futile. The laws of nature are weaker than planning, resolve, purpose, and will. Machines can be journeymen to machine apprentices, as long as we are still the masters. If you've got a particle, whose properties violate the laws of physics. Either we don't understand the laws of physics, or there's something special about that particle. Tomato, tomato. The best way to survive a firefight is to be elsewhere when your enemy starts one. Once you reduce robotics and programming to molecular manipulation, then it becomes a simple affair, suitable to the lower percentile intellects. Nothing is too small. Nobody is insignificant. The biggest trees grow from the smallest seeds. If you replicate the neurological activity of an individual on a computer, for all intents and purposes, the computer is that individual. The trend towards automation speaks to our nature. We create that which may persist without us. In this we are strong. We depend on that which requires nothing of us in return. In this we are flawed. Seraphim, cherubim, divas, fravashi, and yakshas, extend thy arms to cover us, hear us, and convey our prayer to the Lord Creator. Life is an inherently depreciating asset. Like the sun, I shine upon my disciples. Like the flowers, they turn to me and blossom. Consider a simple problem, such as navigation in a spaceship approaching light speed. The universe is either in progress or in entropy. We choose progress. We can always trade space for time. We have surplus space and not enough time. All planets possess inherent value, and establishing the exact dollar value of the property should be a priority. The necessity of an artificial power source is a myth. An ecosystem powers itself. When humanity learns to live in harmony with its surroundings, we will reap the same benefits of power. Way to win the game is to write the rules. Robots do not complain, question, or rest, which makes them good role models for the rest of you. John Henry pulled out two five-pound nano oscillators, one for each side of the fault. They shook and shook, the earth trembling everywhere. Half an hour later, John Henry had shook himself up a mountain, while the industrial engineers had only managed a tiny hill. Morality is measured by the progress of our work. A machine whose works bring us more progress is more moral than a lesser machine. Culture and fashion are racked by pointless ideological wars. Whichever ideology wins immediately becomes cliché. Computational and human resources should never have been separate strategic assets. Command decisions are not made on a single data point. They are the result of a thousand data points crystallized in a single moment. The capacity for stupid agents to produce smart outcomes has a lesson for the manager. Your employees do not need to know very much for you to get the desired results. What is best for the shareholders of the American Reclamation Corporation? That's what's best for you. Turing Shanda. Noun. 
Shame felt upon discovering one has mistaken an artificial intelligence for a close relation. The best troops are young enough to relish combat and old enough to prefer not walking into it. It has been said, the point of war is not to die for your country, but to make your enemy die for theirs. A goal which is more readily accomplished if your side never has to take the field. Yes, the world is beautiful and unspoiled, but it is wrong. Correct it at once. Natural selection is an effective process for organic optimization, but is too slow to be truly useful. Mathematical proof is the only foundation for ethics that I can respect. Progress in mathematics is progress in morality. Genetics is chemistry, and chemistry is a tool, and a tool is only as useful as you make it. In the case of the skyscraper, which has existed since the 19th century, it was not the concept which needed to evolve, but rather the minds of those who used it. I wonder what life was like on Earth when the whole atmosphere was breathable. This morning I saw flocks in flight, herds moving about the plain, and listened to the sound of water mixing with the morning chorus, and I wept at the beauty of it all. If you can, touch a siege worm as it moves by. That will teach you all you need to know about the insignificance of humanity. The best lesson the raptor can teach you is to be grateful for the prey that sustains you. The worst lesson it can teach you is a practical demonstration of that point. You only have to look at the ecosystems outside to get a master class in power systems, combat tactics, engineering, applied genetics, interpersonal relationships, and love. We discarded the booster rockets which got us off Earth. Why shouldn't we discard some of those Earth genes, now that better ones are available? It is inevitable that we will become part of this new world, because you cannot participate in a system without being complicit in it. Embrace your complicity and move to acceptance. If we don't focus on living on this world, right now, with the people that are here, then we are guilty of slothful spirits and passive wills. The day is coming when the Anthropocene advent will be viewed as the inflection point for a new rate of evolution on this planet. The food of this planet passes through our bodies and enriches us, just as we pass through the body of this planet and enrich it. How marvelous it is to find cockroaches roaming on the floor. By our hands, Life thrives where it has not existed before, and thus richness multiplies. The wisdom of nature is that she is content to wait and iterate on her solutions, and because of this, she always finds a way. We know that we are defined by the righteousness of our deeds and the content of our character, not the color of our skin or the sequence of our genes. We destroyed one planet when we moved against its rhythms and brought ourselves to the brink of extinction. What great things will we accomplish as we dance with this world? This world is a gift garment that we wear upon ourselves and within ourselves in gratitude to the giver. The body finds infection, surrounds it, and neutralizes it, thus saving the host. This planet is our host. What do you suppose it thinks of you? The longer we have taken the life of the planet within ourselves, the more we feel the hand that has shaped this life. Chow dreamed he was a siege worm, and when he woke, he knew that he was as much a part of the world as the siege worm was. How much joy can this new planet hold, when all I can think of is everything I've left behind? Every day I think of Earth, because a word or phrase evokes a lesson I learned long ago and gets me what I need. Yes, homesteading this world is hard, but all the people pitch in and somehow the work gets done. I know we can tackle this next problem because we succeeded in tackling all the problems that came before it. I'm grateful for the opportunity to come here. And I'm grateful that we are living up to the expectations of the people who sent us. We thrive because we built a solid foundation on this world with values brought from Earth. Our backs are strong and our bellies are full because on Earth, Someone's belly is empty and their back is bowed. Make sure your conduct is worthy of their pain. Remember that humanity has already escaped from a disaster of its own making. Before us, no other life on earth had the wisdom to understand what transpired 
or the power to overcome. The arc of civilization stretches from the Indus and Mesopotamia to the edge of this world in a strong and unbroken line. Why waste your breath articulating a morality that was disproven with eloquence and foresight centuries ago on old earth? Wisdom and faith led our ancestors to build ships to cross space and bring us here. May Providence carry us back to them one day. The great value of this planet is that it brings into sharp relief the essential nature of our humanity. Actual human beings everywhere now are more important than potential improved humans, which may or may not exist in the future. When we reach out to our brothers and sisters, we reach out with compassion. Who willfully rejects the compassion of the strong? From my obligation to my fellow humans, I draw fellowship, purpose, meaning, strength, courage, conviction, insight, and the basis of all morality. How can such joy be burdensome? Those who forget the past and its sacrifices become the forgotten dust in due time. We remake this world into a new Eden. Should a serpent enter it, and whisper words that will lead to ruin. Let us then become the rectifying archangel with the fiery sword. All humans are one family. Those who are not of our family are not human. Amen. Amen, we say to you. Let them not test our forbearance. We fled Earth because it was getting worse faster than we could fix it. The first five machines of Earth are the wheel, the lever, the inclined plane, the dynamo, and the screw. Progress begins with someone saying, there has to be a better way to do this. To create a machine to work your will is to create your destiny. We have proven that the computer is a good tool. Why can it not also be a good advisor? Accepting the limitations of birth form betrays a lack of imagination. I believe my parents live forever in the code they bequeath to me, and I am never lonely. How beautiful it is to speak to the machine in its own language and have it speak back in ours. Biology is entropy. Why choose chaos when the path to eternity lies at your feet? I dream of a day when our mortal form can stand beneath the skies of any planet without fear or apology. The choice between humans and machines is a false dichotomy created to confuse and mislead. Our ancestors understood that technology was our salvation. We carry the legacy of our prophets in our code. The spirit has always been willing. The flesh has always been weak. Blessed are those that dwell within the machine, for theirs is true freedom from pain. If you see death, disease, aging, and senescence, and you experience any emotion other than revulsion, then you are held captive by romance and must emancipate your own thinking before you can help your fellow humans. Put a machine into motion by disengaging the brakes. Put humanity into motion by disengaging ideology that holds back its potential. Truth is binary. There is one, positive, yes, light, the machine, progress, upgrade, holism, independence, eternity. And there is the opposite of these which is anathema. All previous versions of humanity will no longer be supported as of this update. When will the orders arrive? Now? Can they be sent faster? Do not assume the battleground is impartial or in your favor. A well-prepared businessman has bulletproof contracts and bulletproof suits. I cannot dislike the Bytegeist, because despite its insufferable chirpy ubiquity, it is entirely too helpful to be without. John Henry smiled at the crawler, and he said, Sure, you can move a lot of dirt, but let's see who gets to the Mohorovich's discontinuity first. And he picked up his shovel and waited for the starting gun. Behold, unsleeping Sinosher, the golem whose minds span Kalpa. Beyond this flesh, beyond this dream, I have danced among the stars. My children dance on endless worlds. You may say, I remember, but we must also remember what our parents remember, and what our parents' parents remember as well. Within the drone sphere, I am reminded of nothing less than the apex of Versailles, with each man and woman a sun king or queen, 
surrounded by fawning courtiers, I bring forth myself. I shall be the ever-born and the never-dead. The five mythical creatures of Earth are the dragon, the unicorn, the griffin, the llama, and the chimera. Well, maybe you ain't heated it enough yet, said Paul Bunyan. And he took the plasma out of the whole rum, rubbed it hard between his hands until the aleph field de-resolved itself, and put it back in the hole on chamber. I reckon that'll be warm enough to dry your boots, he said. The goal of the chief should be to align the personal with the larger political, economic, and organizational goals. What's good for the organization's always what's best for the individual. Your most valuable human asset has one foot in the code and one foot in the world and is still on solid ground. Where possible, the opponent's advantage of ground must be negated. If you cannot see down on your enemy, you should knock the enemy off his pedestal. The easiest way to understand social systems is to implement them in code. The best way to optimize social systems is to let the code change the world. Some ideas are bad ideas. Make better ideas, and you make better colonies. Solving problems with force is satisfying, because one gets feedback right away. Rise up, O oh people, said the Lord of Cosmos. I shall lead you to many gardens. And the people took their place among the stars with great rejoicing. There's an old soldier's axiom. You can't kill what you can't see. The inverse is also true. Open your eyes. Open them again. Look ahead of yourself. Look ahead again. Anansi looked at the man's genome and said, Messy, messy, who can live like this? He took a broom and swept up the genome. And when the man woke up, he felt much better. What I like best about quantum computing is that we get something for nothing from someone else's somewhere. I went to depart this world. I stood at the threshold. I heard, do not leave, we need you. I returned, by compassion moved. Maui and Hina, having seen all the oceans of Earth, raised their eyes to new oceans where they still sail. I am told that the planet's core is hot, dense, and explosive, and I am reminded of our parliament. We learned too late the importance of safeguarding the precious gifts of nature. The parting gift of the elephant was the wisdom to be good stewards of the next planet. If the planet didn't want to be tapped, then why is it made out of fuel? See the planet as a mother who loves her children and nourishes their growth and much of this new world becomes less mysterious. All human history has led us to this point. Today, humanity emerges from the shadows of isolation. The greatest question, are we alone, has finally been answered. There was no way to anticipate who or what we would discover, but we knew that we were ready. As ambassadors of our planet, our race, our species, we step forward boldly to greet our fellow beings and take our place among the stars. In the annals of history, the great mistake will forever be seen as a terrible and glorious war which damaged our homeworld beyond repair. In this, history is wrong. The mistake was not the war. It was our belief that we could start over, that when faced with mutual destruction, there could be peace between nations. It is only now, many years later, and halfway across the universe, that we see the truth. There is only one path to peace, and it must be walked alone. There were those who welcomed us and embraced the future we represented. There were those that rejected us, fleeing from our messengers, afraid of their own freedom and potential. This was our burden, the burden of those blessed with vision. And, as technology does with all things, it will heal these wounds. It will quench the fire of this transformation. Liberated from their weaknesses, the people of Earth gaze upon their deliverers with new eyes and see us as we truly are. Heroes, prophets, the saviors of humankind. They stood there, unmoving, eyes fixed upon stars, and constellations for which they had no names. 
How strange this world must have seemed, their future so uncertain. Lowering their eyes to the new earth, they saw their brethren, those who had prepared this place for them, and in so doing, risked all. It was then, in that moment, they knew they were home. As the mind flower opened itself to full bloom, so did our minds open to the planet whose life we had shared for so very long. There was no moment of awakening. Rather, as with the gentle rising of dawn's first light, our human experience was illuminated by the truth of what we were and what we would become. In that light, we found ourselves. We are together now. We are one. We are waiting. We once believed that our destiny was controlled by the gods. As we learned more about nature, we changed our minds. Now that we control our destiny, let us hope they never change back. How joyful it is to open our arms and say, Come, friend, into this house, and let us sit at table together. Every author's obtuse phrase or oblique meaning is a secret cry of longing to be understood. Do you see my hand across the cosmos? My eye sees earth. I open my mouth to send forth myself. I bring you what you must be, if you are to be what you must. Nobody has to be miserable when somebody's got the means to make their life better. So Jack traded his armasail farm to the old man for the magic flower, and he planted that flower under the light of two full moons, just as he had been told. And that night he had the strangest dreams. In the final analysis, mathematics is the only reality and the only real thing. It has been said that time is the great equalizer. And yet here we stand, triumphant in our perseverance. This world has known peace and war. It has borne witness to the rise and fall of colonies, both great and small. And it has succumbed to the ravages of time as do all things, all things, except for us.